Hi, Tasha. You did a great job on your outline. Um, these first sections are a little bit short, but it's okay. I think you're on the right track, especially because I see so much great stuff here in your outline. So I can really see where you're headed. Um, I don't see, though, a claim or a working thesis yet. So make sure that you have a thesis that really shows readers what your paper is going to be on and what your stance is taking. The only thing that comes close is possibly this statement here. Um, when you do get into all of your details here, I should see actually what they are. Instead of just telling me, say, say what are the side effects, let's have them listed here. What are some side effects of, um, of vaccines and how severe can they be? Go ahead and tell us. And then make sure you use... Um, a source so that I know where your research will be incorporated. Um, <clears throat> when you do write the paper, make sure that you always write out AMD instead of using the amper sign there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I know that we have a lot of stuff about aut autism blamed on vaccines, but you want to make sure that you're changing this around to show that that is discredited that um, there is no actual proof that autism has been caused from vaccines and um, and that way you're really making that clear stance on why vaccines are important and um, I think again you're off to a good start I don't really have a whole lot for you um, remember that you want to make sure everything is a complete sentence and when you do write please avoid all these um, questions because you're you're making a stance instead of asking questions. All right, so good job, and let me know if you have questions.